Welcome to Murray Mysteries. Hello Mina, and hello Mina's future listeners. Now, I know this is already the best podcast with the best host in the world, but I thought it could use something new and exciting, like a travel segment. Or maybe I just like talking to myself. Either way, we're doing this. Ooh, I need a jingle, right? Or or a cool theme tune. Uh, Join the jolly Jonathan on his joyous journey just for fun. Well, it's not for fun, yeah, it's for work, but he gets to travel while on the clock and talking to his phone makes him feel less alone. That got a bit dark on me there... Okay, um, here we go. Welcome to Jonathan's Journey. I'm your host, Jonathan, and I'm here to take you on an adventure through the mysterious wilds of Romania. So, I left London two days ago and took a flight to Munich because they were on offer and my firm didn't want to pay any more than they had to. From there, I got a train to Budapest, then on a bus, then another bus, And here I am in beautiful, uh, Bistritz. Ooh, what a fun name. All the towns here are wonderful. Yesterday I stopped at a hotel in Klausenberg, and I had this thing for dinner called Paprika Hendel. I think it was chicken? It might have been rabbit. Anyway, it was delicious. I I should get the recipe and make it for Mina. Maybe we could have a cooking segment on the podcast to go with the travel one. A travel cooking segment. Ooh, foods of the world. Ooh, note to self, buy some paprika. I read up on Romania and Transylvania before I left, but there wasn't much about the food. Lots about the history and geography of the place, though. It's it's fascinating. My client lives right on the borders of Transylvania, Moldavia, and Bukovina, right right in the Carpathian Mountains. I can't wait to explore the area. The views must be incredible. The Carpathians are apparently the source of a lot of superstitions. I should ask my client about those. It sounds like there are some good stories there. I didn't sleep very well, which is a shame, because the bed was very comfortable. Maybe it was the paprika, or the hendel. It might have just been the howling dog outside the window. At least I got to stare at the lovely hotel ceiling for a few hours. Those mouldings were a work of art. I had some more paprika for breakfast, and a few more local dishes I need to get the recipes for. I had to rush out for the bus, but it turned out it was over an hour late, so I definitely could have had a bigger meal. That leg of the journey was long, but the landscapes were beautiful. I took some pictures to show Mina when I get home. Uh, too bad I can't show you. Hmm. Maybe podcasts aren't the best medium for travel content. We should make a YouTube channel instead! If you could hear Mina's voice and see her face, she'd be an instant sensation. I got to Bistritz around 7pm. It's 9 now, and I went to the little inn my client recommended. He's an actual count, so I could probably trust his taste. The place is very nice. It's in a historic building, and all the rooms look like they're stuck in time. The innkeeper was lovely. She called me the Herr Englishman. What was that accent? That sounds so cool and important. I might legally change my name to that. Ooh, what's that? How am I still getting emails? Ooh, I see. One bar of signal. The lone survivor. Maybe I can call Mina and it's gone. All right, what does this say? Welcome to the Carpathians. I'm looking forward to meeting you tomorrow. I've booked a ticket for you on the 9pm bus to Bukovina. I emailed the innkeeper with the reference, so she should be able to print it off for you. Get off at the Borgo Pass stop. My driver will be waiting for you. Have a good night. Best, Dracula. Huh, how nice. I should go downstairs and ask the... Oh, uh, come in. Is there anything you need tonight, sir? Oh, uh, perfect timing. Um, My client sent a bus ticket for me. Uh, do you have it? I do, but... Oh, good, great. Uh, could can I, can I pick it up from reception tomorrow morning? I'm, I'm heading to bed soon, and I wouldn't want to give you any more work at a time like this. That's very kind, sir. But, oh, do you really need to go there? Well, y- yes, this is quite an important deal for my firm. Um, wh- Why? You can't. You shouldn't. Do you even know what day tomorrow is? Uh, Wednesday? Yes, but do you know what it is? 
I'm not sure what you mean. It's the eve of St. George's Day. At midnight tomorrow, Eve will be free. Do you have any idea where you're going? What you're going to do? Please, don't go. At least, wait a day or two. I'll extend your stay for free. That's very kind of you, but I really do need to get there tomorrow. I, I can't be late for a client this important. Uh, besides, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I respect your beliefs, of course, but where I come from, evil is someone who microwaves tea. Stupid Doris. At least take this. Oh, that's that's lovely, but I, I'm not... A... Thank you, it's, it's a very nice crucifix. It will help. Maybe. You be careful. Right, that was, uh, interesting. I suppose I did want to learn about local superstitions. <sighs> should get to bed. Another long day of travel tomorrow. Exciting! Murray Mysteries is a Nove storytelling production. This episode was written and produced by May Tudic and featured Tom McGinnis as Jonathan Harker, Paula Muscolino as the innkeeper, original music by Sophie Kay. If you like our work and would like to support us, you can sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash no storytelling, or follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Thank you for listening.